Thanks for joining now. It's a familiar sound that only a handful of lucky children may have heard on Christmas Eve. Santa and his reindeer flying together from roof to roof, working to deliver all the presents, of course. Uh, Santa's reindeer work best as a team, but what happens when a reindeer is left on their own? Well, that's exactly what has happened to heartbroken Sven, Sven. who sadly recently lost his best friend, Claus. So, uh, in a bid to save him from being lonely this Christmas, Do Dr Scott is live with Sven and his owner, Susie. Aww. Morning, Scott. Morning. Oh, hi, Ali. Hi, Derms. I am here in the very wet and very windy hull. And it is a story of heartbreak, but it's got a very happy ending, so don't worry. Uh, this very handsome chap right here is Sven. Uh, and just five weeks ago, he did lose his best friend, Klaus, uh, to a very short illness. And as we know with reindeer, they are a herd animal. They really enjoy the company of other reindeers. It gives them that protection as well. Uh, and they do get quite unwell when they're feeling a little bit lonely and a little bit sad. But, but don't worry, because we've got some good news right there. And this is lovely Susie Riot. Hi, Hello. Susie, who runs uh, the Little Haven Farm here, yep. so, which is a lovely educational facility. Um, you've got loads of animals here and you bring kids in uh, to try and teach them about animals and animal welfare, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we do. So an animal sanctuary, stroke rescue centre with a, with a massive focus on education. Yeah. So. Let's talk about Sven. How long have you had him for and what kind of personality does he have? He's been showing us a little bit today. He's, he's just started rutting. Uh, I think he's smelling a bit of testosterone because he's tried to push me over a number of times. No injuries just yet, but we have got a few minutes to go. So, yeah, <laughs> what kind of personality does he normally have when he's not so feisty? Um, normally, he's great. Yeah, he's really inquisitive. He's, uh, um, he likes to follow you around. So, obviously, when we're closed, we let him out you know, for a bit of free wandering. Um, and he likes to follow you around and give you a nuzzle. And, it's a bit and like a dog. Quite, yeah. I noticed as well he was a bit wet because the rain is pretty heavy. And he was like shaking like a dog as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so yeah, he's a little bit like a dog. Um, Lovely. So Usually. tell us a little bit about, about Klaus. Obviously, he, he did pass recently. We're so he sorry did. to hear that. Yeah. Uh, what kind of boy was he? Um, so um, reindeer have different characters, a bit like children do or your dogs might. Um, so they they are quite or they were quite different um, in character. Klaus was maybe the more loving one. He would be the one that would you know come and I could I could say to him, give me a kiss, and he'd come and give me a kiss, oh, or he'd like a cuddle. Um, Sven is getting better, <laughs> usually. Yeah, right and. Obviously, you did lose Klaus, uh, yeah. just a, a very short illness. Yeah. Uh, and how has Sven responded to that? Have you noticed that he actually does seem to be showing signs of grieving? Um, yeah, a little. Mm. Um, uh, it's difficult to say at the moment because normally when they would go into rut, we would separate them because they would fight. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know whether he's noticed too much, but he is starting to show that pacing behaviour, which is what animals can do to show that they're distressed or yeah. unhappy. Yeah. So he is starting to do that. Um, so it's short term at the moment. I'm not overly worried, but it's the long term yeah. being on his own, yeah. um, which is the concern. Well, it's not about replacing Klaus, no. but it's about moving on. And uh, this boy, he does want a bit of company and he is rutting. So, you know, he is, he is a male. Yeah. Uh, I hear that uh, he may have literally all of his Christmases coming at once because <laughs> he's got a female called Daisy en route. Is that right? Absolutely, yeah. So we've made contact with somebody that has a three-year-old female, um, which would be a perfect match for him. Um, and, yeah, she's... Uh, we're all excited. I mean, mm. he's going to be very happy when, oh, when she arrives. I, I think so. It won't be just his jingle bells that are ringing. <laughs> uh, and... As far as, uh, as, far as um, the finances, obviously, it's an expensive thing to look after reindeers, but also to purchase them as well. So you're on a fundraising mission, aren't you? Yeah, we're on a fundraising mission. So we've set up a Just Giving page. With the, the structure that we have um, here being an animal sanctuary, we don't have that, you know, avenue, that revenue in the background to be able to go out and spend £4,000 on getting another reindeer, which is why we've set up the Just Giving page, you know, to say, please, if you can, yeah. help us, because it, it, it's, it's not for me. It's for him. It's find Sven a friend, isn't it? It is, That's yes. That's right. Yep. So there you go. Let's hope that Sven does find his girlfriend for Christmas. Uh, it will be all of his Christmases coming at once. And Ali and Dermot, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a fact. So I've just come back from the Arctic. Yeah. Animals of the Arctic will be on our show in the next couple of weeks. Now, I don't know if you knew this, but reindeer drop 
their antlers. When they're males, they drop their antlers no. in late autumn, which means that all of Santa's reindeer are actually female. There no way! Well, it was obvious idea. that was the case, wasn't it? They yeah. have to deliver so many presents. They, were they work gonna, hard, they multitask. They're obviously going to be women. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, Rudolph, Rudolph. Rudolph's a gal, guys. That's it. <laughs> it's so good to see you, Dr Thank Scott. You. Thank Best you so much. That well. was lovely. Good luck, Bye, Sven. Guys. Oh, lovely. Now, coming 